If you don't like the typical fruitcake, you need to give this recipe a try. It's not dark, dense and overloaded with fruits and spices. It's moist, tender with the perfect balance of fruits and nuts. Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. And in case you're new here, my name is Marco and today I'm going to cook another festive recipe, a fruitcake. This is my mother's recipe that she's been making ever since I was a kid. So let's get cooking. The first thing you need to do is soak the raisins the night before. I soak them with whiskey but you can use any other liquor like brandy, rum or even a fruit juice. Then we continue with the dry ingredients. First all purpose flour, baking powder and salt and I sift this in a bowl. Then set aside for later. Then I drain the raisins that have been soaking with the whiskey and I make sure there's no liquid behind but don't throw the liquid. Now here I have some candied fruits that I chop into pieces. I'm going to add the raisins and some toasted almonds that I also chop. Now I'm going to add some of the flour mixture and this is so that the fruits and nuts don't sink into the cake. Set this aside and we will continue with the rest. Here I have some softened butter and I'm going to add some sugar and whisk this until I have a creamy texture. Once it looks like this, I'm going to add the eggs. In total, I'm going to put three eggs, but add one at a time and whisk in between. Make sure everything is well incorporated before adding the next egg. Once everything is well incorporated, I'm going to add the liquid where I soak the raisins, and then some vegetable oil, in my case a very mild olive oil and orange zest. Mix everything well. Then I'm adding the flour mixture that I prepared earlier and mix with the electric whisk just until it's well incorporated. Don't over whisk it. We're going to switch to spatula. But first we add the fruits and nuts that we prepared earlier and then with the spatula and folding movements we incorporate everything. Folding movements is what I'm doing right now with the spatula. It's a way of mixing ingredients when you want to be delicate and preserve the structure. Now here I have a 9 by 5 loaf pan that I butter and line with parchment paper. I'm going to pour the butter here and then spread evenly. As you can see I left the parchment paper hanging on the sides and this is so that when I take out the cake it's going to be easier to lift it out from the mold. And now I'm going to take it to a preheated oven at 350 Fahrenheit for 60 minutes or until we insert a toothpick and it's dry. And here it is after about 60 minutes. The smell in the house is incredible. I let it cool on this rack and after it's cold I like to sprinkle some powdered sugar on top but you can decorate it the way you want. You can make a glazing which we have before, decorate with more dried fruits on top, cherries. This is a delicious cake that you will not regret making these holidays. And here comes the best part. I'm going to try this. I've been waiting to try this. You cannot imagine the smell here. Mm. Takes me back to my childhood. This is Christmas to me.